I'm Dr John Cooper. I teach urban design in the Department of Planning, uh, both to postgraduate and undergraduate students. I was a student of this place about 20 years ago. I came as a postgraduate part-time student. I was a landscape architect, still am a landscape designer. Uh, I still work in practice and bring practice experience to what I teach. Um, and the reason I'm still here after 20 years is because I thoroughly enjoy what I'm doing and get a real buzz from motivating young people who've come in and got no design experience whatsoever. And within 12 weeks, I consider we've helped them transform themselves into urban designers. So that's kind of what motivates me. So let's do a couple of examples. Uh, well, let's just follow, follow one of our students who came in as an undergraduate. She did the, the three years, an undergraduate planning student. And then she came across and did the one year Masters in Urban Design. Now she, within, I'd say about four weeks of graduating, she actually got a job with a, a very uh, well-known and, and large uh, planning and urban design practice They're based in Milton Keynes and she's now her official title is assistant planner. Um, she's been there about 18 months. Um, I'm still in regular contact with her. She gets a wide variety of, kind of portfolio of work and she's doing planning and urban design jobs. So second scenario, we have a Dutch student who joins us for the one year Masters in Urban Design. Comes from a, a kind of non-design background arrives in the studio and is actually quite nervous about the things we're going to ask her to do, particularly the little graphics. Um, within four weeks of graduating, kind of ten months later, she gets a job working with a large UK practice as an urban designer. Now, last week, the th three of the key teaching staff get a separate email from her saying, thanks for, the, thanks for the course, thanks for the lectures, thanks for the advice. She'd really enjoyed the course, she would recommend it to other people, but specifically saying, thanks for giving her such a hard time in the early modules, because that stood her in good stead then for actually getting out to practice. So the, the kind of message there is, I think our students are very well set up to, get in, to be employed. One of the reasons is because of the vigour of, of the course, because most of us are still in practice. So we're interested in people producing things that when they go for an interview, they put it on the table, and the director of the practice who's interviewing recognises instantly there's something that we can relate to. So we've got a whole suite of uh, software available in the studios, the Adobe Creative Suite, Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator that are used to manipulate uh, design images, form professional looking reports, pro provide and create uh, online presentations. We also get students to, to use video. So particularly in the undergraduate module, halfway through the semester, we ask the students, rather than writing a report, rather than write an essay, because they, they'll have done dozens of those, we ask them to do a video essay. So they have to choose a route through the centre of Oxford that they think typifies the character of Oxford. The route can't take them more than 15 minutes to walk. They, we give them a whole host of, of concepts that they can use to analyse and describe their route, and they have to then produce a five minute video which is video or moving image, still images, uh, annotation coming in on screen, but also they've got to do a voiceover and they've got to have kind of a musical score in the background.